Hundreds of students and faculty at Eastern Washington University have asked the administration to make the school a sanctuary campus for undocumented or international students. KXY 4's Caroline Rourke working for you to explain what this all means. She is in Cheney tonight. Caroline? Nadine, it's a phrase you probably heard in the na national conversation several times this week. A after the aftermath of a divisive election, pleas being made to create sanctuary cities or now sanctuary campuses for students and civilians to go regardless of their immigration status. The EWU student body is one of the more diverse in the state. Welcome for all students is a part of the campus culture that often goes without saying. There's signs that says Eastern Washington is here to serve you and your students. We are here to protect you. We're here for diversity, everything. We're not to discriminate. We're a campus that's for everyone. But the campaign rhetoric surrounding new immigration policies has students worried. There's a few of them that when the election happened, they were scared. Much of that rhetoric was directed towards immigrants from Mexico, but for EWU students from around the globe, the language hits too close for comfort. What changes might await them after Christmas break? And they leave like in January. So she's like, I don't think I want to come back. Last week, a petition began to circulate, calling on the university to publicly defend its commitment to protecting all students. Having that sanctuary that they could just know that they're safe here and on campus would be really important, actually. Nearly 700 students and faculty have signed the document. And even if they're not from this country, like, why, why does it matter? They still need an education. Depending on what new policies might require, there might not be much the university could do, as it is bound by federal rules and regulations. The Board of Trustees has released a statement saying that Eastern seeks to be more than a sanctuary. Also, a place of growth and dialogue. The statement does not definitively designate the campus as a sanctuary, but it does emphasize the school's commitment to its students. Saying, quote, although we do not have the power to prohibit federal officers from entering our campus, we will do everything in our power to ensure they respect and support our mission to educate and transform the lives of all of our students. That statement also reiterates that the university, of course, complies with federal privacy laws that protect students' educational records, including any information about immigration status. In Cheney, Caroline Rourke, KXOY4 News.